Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to build a round pool. You only need the base game for this. You don't need any mods, no CC. You do not need the tool mods, so you really only need the base game and a couple of cheats and tricks that I'm going to show you in this video. Before we start, you want to make sure to activate these cheats so you are ready for the tutorial. You open the cheat console by pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard and then you enter these four cheats one after another and you are good to go. You can just quickly pause the video to type in all your cheats. But let's get into the tutorial. So we start off by building a basement because we are going to build the whole thing in a basement. I'm building the basement here. I'm clicking on the room. I'm then clicking on the yellow outline and I click on remove ceiling. And this way we got rid of the ceiling. I now have a basement and I'm using this rug here. I'm sizing it up and I want to make sure that the gap between the rug and the wall is only half a tile wide. You can see it here. And this is really important so it all works out. You can make this as big or small as you want. Just keep in mind that you want to have this gap which is half a tile wide. I'm now typing in world into the search bar and press enter to access the debug and lift edit objects and I'm looking for this object here. This is a debug column from the base game and this is the object we are going to use. It's now important to check that you are using the mid wall height, so not the lowest or highest one available but the one in the middle and you want to size up the debug column one step and this way you make sure that the debug column has the same height as the wall and this way it all lines up perfectly. So you have to use the mid wall height and you have to size up this debug column by one step. And then it's time to place all these items. This might look difficult, but it's not. And after finishing this year, I'm going to show you how to easily learn this. So stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how easy it really is. But first, let's talk about what I'm doing here. So I have this rug, which is a guideline. And I'm now using these columns to create a round shape. We have activated the move object sheet. We did that right at the beginning. And this way, it's not a problem for us to move the these objects into each other so they can touch it's not a problem and I'm rotating these objects by pressing alt on my keyboard and I'm simultaneously holding down the left mouse button I'm then moving my mouse and this way I can rotate objects freely. You have to make sure to activate the Sims 3 camera. This is really important because this rotation does not work if you are using the Sims 4 camera so you have to switch to Sims 3 and I'm holding out of my keyboard to freely place these objects. This is also very important and we are going to get into this later in the tutorial but this is how I'm doing this. I'm holding down out on my keyboard and the left mouse button to rotate each object. I'm then holding down out to freely position each object and I'm just arranging every single object so it's in the perfect spot and I can slowly create my perfectly round shape step by step. I've now finished the complete circle. I can get rid of the rug and we can finish this beautiful round pool. Now we have this wonderful circle and all we have to do is getting rid of the excess basement areas. For this I'm using the custom basement tool. Just hover over it and it will tell you the name. It's the tool that lets you create custom shapes so you cannot just drag a rectangle or a square but you can just create any shape that's possible and I'm using it to go over these areas and I'm holding down control because then it's deleting these areas and you can here see how I'm removing them and 
as I said earlier, you have to follow the rule that there has to be a half tile gap between the rug and the wall. And this is why, because then it all adds up and you can here see how I'm removing it. Like all these patterns and how to do this. You might want to pause the video when you're doing this for the first time if you don't know how to do this. So you can exactly follow the shape and I'm then using just a regular pool to fill in the area. And I'm also going to use the custom pool tool. It's the same as the custom basement tool. And when I'm using it, as you will see in some areas, you will see that there is an outline popping up and it's kind of telling me where the basement is below. You just saw it. And I just started to follow this line and this way the pool is exactly inside the basement and no pool areas are sticking out. You can see it here. I'm just following the outline of the basement. You could also just do it however. You could just ring it and just see if it's working. But this is like foolproof. It's really easy and you 100% make sure that the pool is like lighting up with everything and that it's working fine. So I would recommend to just do it the same way. You just follow the line and you have a perfect beautiful pool as you can see here. There is like the pool trim sticking out a bit so I just changed the color you could technically use the same asset that I had used to create the whole circle and use another object around it but this is just very quick and easy just change the the color and it's not really sticking out anymore I made a little mistake there and I had to fix it just go back when something went wrong and fix it no problem Before we take a closer look at how to rotate objects, I'm showing you the sped up version of a different shape, like the pool shape that you also saw at the very beginning. And you can here see that the process is identical. Once you've mastered the first one, you can also create this one. What I'm doing is I'm just combining two of the rocks. I make one smaller to have this very typical pool shape. And once again, I made sure that there's only like this small gap between the rock and the wall. Of course, this is not possible in every area because of the shape. But I advise to do this like in the areas where it's possible so that it will be much easier to really squeeze a pool in there. And then in the area where the two rocks are meeting, you just kind of have to wing it as you can see here. So you really want to bridge the gap and you just create a really smooth transition between the two round shapes. And this way you have a beautiful curved pool and yeah it's like the same as the first one essentially so I would advise to try the smaller one like the just the circular one first so you get the hang of it and then you can just move on to this one here it's really the same I'm just removing the basement once again holding down control and then using the custom pool tool I once again followed the outline of the basement I changed the pool trim color and my sim just jumped into the pool Cool. So let's talk about rotating objects. I know that a lot of people think it's complicated because you just have to combine the movement of the mouse. You have to press Alt. You also have to hold on the mouse button. And there are like so many things going on all at once, but technically there isn't a lot going on. So now I'm only touching the mouse and nothing else. And I'm pressing the left mouse button. And when I'm now just moving the mouse, this happens. So. I'm just pressing the left mouse button and when I'm moving the mouse like this, it just rotates. And this is like so simple. Just jump into your game and do this. Just click on an object, hold the left mouse button, move your mouse and it's like very simple. And all I'm now adding into the mix is pressing Alt. And it's doing the exact same thing. It's just happening so much smoother. So that's all, that's it. So I think people think of this in a too complicated way, but it's like something that we do all the time. Like I'm just, I don't know, let's say I'm, I'm displacing something. I'm like, hey, why don't you have a sofa? And I'm just picking it up and I just, I just, press the left mouse button and I just do this and it's the exact same thing. You're just moving an object with your mouse but you just hold on alt and it's all smooth and then you just 
hold down R to have this like free movement so you can really bring your object into the correct position. And it's really just practice. Practice makes perfect. But yeah, in case you don't feel like doing this right now, I'm going to upload this lot to the gallery. My ID is Kate Emerald. I'm just going to get rid of all these sofas that no one needs. So you could just get rid of everything you don't want. So you just grab this from the gallery, you place it, and then you just get rid of whatever you don't like and then when you click up here on to move a lot uh, you can just do it like this and I don't know let's say you want to have a pool over here you could just move it like this for example it's going to load for a second and then you just get rid of all the rest and you just build your house around it so if you don't want to follow the tutorial you can just grab it and create your dream house and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as always, if you have any questions, just ask away. I will get back to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And in case you were wondering why you've never seen this in one of my videos, I've always just created the shape on ground level and then I used tool to lower it into the ground. But I was trying to figure out a way for you where you wouldn't have to use tool. So I just came up with the whole basement thing today. So you could just create this without any mods, no CC, just nothing, just the base game. So this is kind of new and I was like trying to to change my technique using tool into a tool free version for you guys. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.